We are finally in the fall season, so get out your hoodies and hot chocolate because we're about to get spooky. I wanted to start zeroing in on horror more on my thoughts videos because it's honestly my favorite genre, and I came up with an interesting idea. Instead of meshing together a ton of different horror manga artists, specific horror films, and specific horror icons into one video, I've decided that throughout the course of fall, I'd focus on one particular thing every week, do a ton of research, and hit you all with what I found. First up, I want to talk about Hideshi Hino. I hope it's pronounced Hino because we're going to be saying it a lot. Hino was born on April 19, 1946, to Japanese immigrant workers in northeast China, just when Japan surrendered at the end of World War II to Soviet forces. His family escaped to Japan, fearing retribution from Chinese civilians, and Hino has claimed that he was nearly killed en route to Japan by his fellow townspeople during the evacuation from China. He originally considered a job in the film industry and would later embrace that for better or worse, and we will get to that later, but he was later inspired to go with manga and went with it. His first professional work was published in the manga magazine Calm in 1967. Before we go any further, I need to say that if you're not into gruesome or gory illustrations, you should probably not continue. I assure you that Hino, above all artists, is not going to be your cup of tea. I'm not going to show anything unbelievably intense, but there might be some things you may consider gruesome that I show, and I just wanted to get this out there. You've been warned. I'm torn on this guy's work, personally. While 16-year-old me was super stoked wasting away a summer on the overly gory guinea pig films, in which Hino wrote and directed two of them, starring in the sixth one, thinking there wasn't anything cooler than a plotless film about someone being tortured in extreme detail, and that's it. That's... that's every single one of those movies. 24-year-old me wouldn't dare go back. He also had six films distributed by Pony Canyon that were based on his manga titled Hideshi Hino's Theater of Horror. I unfortunately wasn't able to find these anywhere online, but I was able to find this creepy intro for it. わたしは毎日物語を書き続けている。私の頭は狂っているのだろう。私の物語は私が実際に犯した陰惨な事件をもとに作られている。私の行くところにはいつも死の影が付きまとう。私の作る物語には。もう者の呪いの声が張り付いているのだ。これから始まる物語は見てはいけない。死者たちがあなたを呪い殺すかもしれないからだ。あなたの身の上に何が起こったとしても。私は一切責任を持てない。それでもよかったら見るがいい。今度は君が死ぬ番だ。So, if you do find them out there, tread lightly. Now for his manga work. These were also difficult to get my hands on as I was only able to find and read Panorama of Hell and Hell Baby. Panorama of Hell is his personal favorite creation, and I completely understand why. 
They were solid stories with wonderful artwork. The formula was more or less the same as the films I was buried in at the age of 16, but I was surprised at how the concepts in his illustrations and storytelling pulled me in so close. Panorama of Hell was about an artist showing off his nice art pieces while introducing his unconventional family to us. Then he gives us detailed descriptions of his violent childhood and talks about his also unconventional parents and grandparents. You start to feel for this mess of a guy in a weird kind of way, and I don't want to spoil the ending, but it was super twisted and it'll definitely stick with me. Now Hell Baby was a little more simple. Twins are born and one of the babies looks fucked up. Like, like really fucked up. The dad can't bring himself to put it down himself and instead opts to throw it in the trash. Trash baby grows to trash kid in trash yard somehow and gets told by some spirit to go to town. Trash kid goes to town, attacks people, but trash kid is just misunderstood. Trash kid has only ever understood attack. There's a deeper ending I once again won't spoil for you, but it's good. The way his stories wrapped up impressed me a lot. Reading the synopsis for a lot of his other stories, I can only imagine how those turned out. Hino is hands down at the top in his lane of grittiness. Not even Junji Ito, the man, the king, the legend of horror manga, can have me asking the question, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? as often as I have with Hino. And after seeing the intro I showed you guys and seeing his passion for these creations, I think that's what he's going for. He constantly pushed the limits of acceptance, pushing the hell out of the controversial button, and while it may not be the style I personally go for, I have to appreciate it for what he's trying to do. And he does that wonderfully. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your opinion on Hino if you have one. I'm really curious what you guys think. Stay tuned for the season of horror goodies, and if you aren't a fan of horror, I still plan on hitting you with other video game and anime thoughts videos, so don't worry. Hit me up at KimboSteezy on Twitter, and subscribe, like, and comment if you want. See ya.